Hi, I'm Edward Unrett with Campus Reform. Today we're at CPAC talking to students about their experience being conservatives on college campuses. Have you ever lost a friend as a student for some of the political views you have? I actually have, to be honest. There was uh, someone who I actually went on a few dates with and she got very upset because I was lean conservative and I actually was a Trump supporter. I like Donald Trump and they don't and uh, unfortunately uh, it happened recently and it's very sad. Yeah so during my junior to senior year I was beginning to lose a lot of friends because of my political views because I was starting to finally come into them. Uh, if that's the reason we can't be friends then you have lost all civility. I have lost a few friends over my political views. The more active I was on Twitter, and it's not like I was saying anything uh, controversial or anything, it was just mainstream conservative views. As soon as I started doing that and then becoming more confident in them, I began to lose my friends and they would just one, one by one drop me out of the group. And once they found out that I was pro-Trump, they would just be like, how could you, how dare you, like, I hope you, whatever. Somebody told me to burn in hell as a Trump supporter, and I was like, that's great, you know? It makes you, first off, it makes you question tolerance. It makes you question, is the Democratic Party what they say they are in terms of social justice and tolerance? person leaves you and you know, stops talking because of your political views, uh, they're not really a friend at all, so. Unfortunately, it seems these days, politics is really driving people apart. What's the craziest form of progressive liberal bias you've seen on your campus? Well, I mean, the uh, chair of our econ department, my major, uh, he's an open Marxist. Um, you know, he preaches you know, the Communist Manifesto throughout the day. I had followed a girl on campus who sells cheesecakes, and she saw that I had hashtag Trump 2020 in my Twitter bio, and she didn't like that very much. So she blocked me and um, labeled me as a racist on her Twitter, and it blew up and went viral. I had death threats. I was attacked on social media, and then people talked about me on campus, and it was just like a big thing. It was more so globalism being pushed down our throats in our history and our global history history classes. It was all the subliminal messaging that came with the education. Our uh, Students for Life chapter um, was holding an event called Lies Feminist Tell. Um, they had posters about it all over campus, um, flyers they hung up everywhere, um, and most of them lasted less than 30 minutes. They were all torn down. Our student government vice president once posted on the 4th of July, death to America, on her personal social media. I was in bio and um, my teacher, for whatever reason, my professor decided to talk about how we needed free health care in bio class and it really made no sense because we're talking about you know just basic biology you know science and then she goes right into why we need Medicare for all. A lot of conservatives in the older generations want to help change the culture on campus they want to help you know change the climate on campus but what is one thing you wish other conservatives knew about the campus. What is something that they could do to help you guys change the culture of liberal bias on campus? <laughs> that we exist. Uh, there's a lot of people, especially at uh, our school, that uh, I feel are sheltered because they're afraid that something's going to happen to them if they speak their mind. I would say they need to encourage them to go against the university a lot more because I think students don't know how much they can get away with at, at, at these universities. Case in point, University of Florida, the AF chapter, we, we sue them because they, they, you know, First Amendment violations. About donating to college campuses, a lot of conservatives need to stop, you know, giving their money, alumni need to stop giving their money back to the colleges because they're not using it for things that benefit both sides of the political spectrum. America's youth are the key to the future, you know, because listen, a lot of people will say, well, you know, you're young, can't have much to say. That is true. I can't make a living. But guess what? You make a living off what you get. You make a life off of what you give. And if I am willing to attend an event such as this, or am I willing to change a voter's mind, that is a lot to give. I came into college as a freshman uh, two or three years, two years ago. Um, and I was just really afraid to speak my values, be myself. Um, and I wish I would have had that older student to kind of be the person to tell me it's okay to be who I am. Uh, I'd like to see more you know, conservatives, uh, older conservatives come and speak to college students. I believe the greatest thing we can do is to ask, is to be able to send speakers to high school and college campuses. How's it going? I'm Eduardo Norette with Campus Reform. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to get our latest content, click right here. If you're interested in joining our team as a correspondent or an investigator, click there. And if you want to donate to make sure we can create more great content like this, click right here.